So in today's video, I want to look at a particular example of a function which has a positive derivative everywhere, but turns out to be decreasing. Now, you hear that and you think, surely that's nonsense. You know, a function with positive gradient or positive derivative is an increasing function. It surely can't ever decrease. The source of this phenomenon, the reason why such an example can be constructed, is because we're going to construct this function using purely the rational numbers. And in particular, this, this will be a source of insight into why we have to do certain things when it comes to mathematics, why we have to do proofs, why we have to learn real analysis, and why we can't just do what we want using our intuition. This example and these ideas are encapsulated very well in T.W. Corner's A Companion to Analysis, a first, second, and second first course in analysis, which I would highly recommend. If you have just taken your first year or second year analysis course and you've learned about the intermediate value theorem, you've learned about the constant function theorem, and all these theorems that seem intuitively obvious, but turn out, you know, to have these difficult proofs, you may come away from that thinking, you know, maths is just this esoteric field which is not welcome to outsiders. It's, it's just this fancy language filled with all these complicated proofs that no one understands except these mathematicians. And what they're, they're all talking about very intuitive things that, you know, the engineers understand just as well as the pure mathematicians. And... So that the proofs are designed for confusion. That's a natural thing to, to walk away with if you, if you don't understand the importance of the proofs. And so Corner's book is, is really to illustrate the importance of proofs and why analysis is a necessary subject to study. This is just one example in a series of examples that I hope to illustrate from Corner's book where we'll, we'll show how the intermediate value theorem is not obvious We'll show how the constant function theorem is not obvious and lots more in that direction. But in this video, what we want to focus on exclusively is an example of a function which has positive derivative everywhere, it's differentiable everywhere, but is decreasing if we try to do calculus over the rationals. So let's get into it. So let's define a function from the rationals to the rationals by the following formula. If x squared is less than 2, we'll define f of x to be x minus 1. And if x squared is greater than or equal to 2, we'll define f of x to be x plus 1. We'll calculate the derivative. So let's first do it for x squared less than 2, in which case f of x plus h is just going to be x plus h minus 1. Because I can, I can always take h to be sufficiently small, since I'm going to take it to be 0. And I can ensure that if x squared is less than 2, then I can get x plus h squared to be less than 2. So in this case, we have f of x plus h is x plus h minus 1, and f of x is equal to x minus 1. Now the derivative, as we all know from kindergarten, is the limit as h tends to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. Using what we have in the above line, this reduces to x plus h minus 1 minus x minus 1, all divided by h. Now if we simplify this expression, the x's will cancel and so will the minus 1's. So all we're left with is the limit as h tends towards 0 of 1 over 1, but this is just 1. In particular, the derivative is positive since 1 is greater than 0. So let's do the second case now, in which case we'll consider x squared to be greater than 2. In this case, we can take x plus h squared to be greater than 2, in which case the formula in blue tells us that f of x plus h is equal to x plus h plus 1, and f of x is going to be x plus 1. Again, we'll calculate the derivative using the standard formula, the limit as h tends towards 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. Inserting these pink formulas, we have x plus h plus 1 minus x plus 1, all divided by h. Again, everything will cancel here, so we end up with h over h, but that's just 1, and in particular, it's again positive. So what we see is that the, the function f of x given by x minus 1, if x squared is less than 2, and x plus 1 otherwise, this is a function that we just showed 
was differentiable everywhere. And so this function that we just defined is differentiable everywhere with f prime of x equal to one everywhere. And so in particular, it's positive for all x in the rationals. Now, if we consider the point x equal to minus eight on five, then squaring this is just gonna be 64 on 25. And that's 2.65, which is greater than two. In particular, this formula now tells us that f of minus eight on five is minus eight on five plus one, but that's just minus three on five. Now consider the point x equal to minus six on five, squaring this will be 36 on 25, which is 1.44, which is less than two. And so the formula tells us that f of minus six on five is minus six on five minus one, but that's minus 11 on five. So if we think about this for a moment, what we have is a function with positive slope. I showed before that f prime of x was equal to one and that's positive everywhere. And moreover, we just showed that f of minus eight on five is minus three on five, but minus three on five is certainly greater than minus 11 on five, which is equal to f of minus six on five. So what we've just shown is that if we do calculus with the rationals, we get a function which is differentiable with positive derivative everywhere, but it goes down. And so what we see is that there's a fundamental distinction between doing the calculus that we're all familiar with on the real numbers in comparison with doing calculus on the rational numbers. None of the definitions that we learn in kindergarten calculus require the real numbers. Limits can be defined on rational numbers just as well as they can on the reals, but the results fundamentally rely on properties of the real numbers. Okay, that's it for this video. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. Check out the links in the video description if you want to support the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.